Hi, welcome back to PMT College. My name's Russ from Drumheads, and today we're going to be expanding on the rhythm that we learnt in the last lesson. So let's have a quick recap at what we did. So the first thing we're going to do is look at some popular variations on the bass drum. The first one is by adding a second note on the and of three. So if we're counting our eighth notes, one and two and three and four and, we're going to put a bass drum on beat one, a bass drum on beat three, and a bass drum on the and of three as well. One and two and three and four and again once we're happy and comfortable with that rhythm we can try and play it round and round in a continuous fashion a little bit faster this time And like in the last video, we tried to play our rhythm four times around without any hesitations. So go ahead and practice that and see if you can get your four times without making a mistake. So there's our first variation. The next variation we're going to look at is adding a bass drum on the and of one. So we're going to get two bass drums together on beat one and two bass drums together on beat three. That looks like this. One and two and three and four and. Here it is again a little bit quicker. Once you're happy with that, you can try your four rotations again and try and get the rhythm to go round and round without hesitating. And for our final variation, we're going to go back to the original groove, but this time add an extra bass drum on the and of two only. That looks like this. One and two and three and four and. Again, a little bit quicker. Take your time with this one, really go slow and make sure that you get the notes in order correctly before you even attempt to take up the speed and the tempo. But once you have it, it should sound and look like this. So there we go three different variations on our basic rhythm. By varying the bass drum pattern, we've got some different rhythms that we can play on our drum set. Make sure you can play each rhythm individually first without making any hesitations. And then, once you're comfortable with each of the rhythms, you can go from one to the next and even interchange between each one to come up with some varied patterns. So, now we've got four basic drum grooves under our belt. In the next lesson, we're going to be looking at incorporating some drum fills. Thank you for watching. Really hope you found this lesson useful. 
Don't forget, for a huge selection of drums and cymbals, you can visit pmtonline.co.uk. If you have any questions whatsoever about this lesson, please feel free to contact me via the Drumheads website. And if you're local to Portsmouth and Southsea, you're more than welcome to book in a lesson with me at the Drumhead studio. Thank you again for watching. See you again on the next lesson.